Hello everybody, welcome to Damon 3D Print. This is our workshop, my name is Kyle. Today we're going to be talking about cone spacers and we're going to be talking about why we use them, what they are, and why they're going to be beneficial to you. Okay, so these are the cone spacers. You get 10 in a box and they have little magnets on the bottom to make sure that they don't slip or slide when you're printing. The cone spacers help achieve this by keeping the material elevated over the honeycomb. This means that you can get cleaner cuts and no marks on the bottom. So what we're going to do is show you a couple of test cuts that we've done with and without using the cone spaces to compare the results. Okay, so this is how to set up the cone spaces. It's very simple. All you need to do is you place as many as you need to onto the honeycomb so that it supports your material and, you, and making sure that your material is level while printing. Like so. After adjusting the focal height and have set everything up in Beam Studio, hit go and we'll make sure to keep an eye on it. As you can see, there are no markings on the bottom or any reflective heat damage, which is good. Uh, the cone spaces have obviously, obviously done their job, um, so they can be reused again and again. Um, so uh, let's do another cut uh, without using the cone spaces this time and um, taking all the same steps as before and see what the outcome is. Okay, so this is the test cut that we've done without the use of the, uh, the, the cone spaces, uh, which has actually resulted in the uh, the marking of the bottom here from the heat damage um, so as you can see this could be obviously quite frustrating to get off because as you might have to paint over it or you might have to um, sand it off obviously which is obviously a pain um, so yeah so this can obviously taint your design if you don't use the cone spacers so that concludes our video. Our results today showed that the uh, the cone spaces has, have a uh, significant difference on the uh, on the outcome of your print. Um, if you're planning on printing something really big, then obviously it could affect the um, the your your material a lot more than it has done here. Obviously, this is quite a small print in comparison. Um, so that we highly suggest that the cone spaces for the best outcome, um, and the uh, the link for those will be in the description below. So, what did you think? If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or contact us through our website. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing and liking the video if it was helpful at all. Um, we do appreciate that one, obviously trying to grow our community. That's all from me. We'll see you next time.